trail mix, trail mix, he's the trail, she's the mix, they hike on trails and step on sticks, trail mix. Hello, we're trail mix, and I'm Chris. And I'm Tori, and today's theme is comically huge pine cones. In this channel, we uh, like to hike trails and take pictures. And today we're visiting the Falling Waters State Park. As you may have guessed, that includes a waterfall. The trail is supposed to be two miles long, or about two miles long, and it's a loop. Well, we can't go on that trail though. That's the that's that's the sinkhole trail that is closed. Oh, for right. safety. We don't know anything about the trail just yet. We'll tell you about it. Where does sap even come from on a pine cone? What do you need that for? Oh, that smells good. So here is the parking lot. That's our car. And now we're gonna go on this trail. That was so easy. Please take nothing but pictures. Leave nothing but footprints. So we begin with a concrete trail and frankly, I think it's lovely because it means it's more accessible to everyone. But I'm a little miffed because it's not nature-y. Because Chris hates people being able to access the beauty of nature. You probably can't tell how deep and impressive this hole is. So my lovely assistant will throw a pine cone into it. Huh. That was a horrible toss. Ta-da! Dun 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 It's so huge! Look at that! Wow, I can't even see the bottom of it! It's just falling into a pit! Oh, that oh is my. so cool! Oh, I'm coming down here. Whoa! This is the most amazing trail we've been on so far. Whoa! That is so cool! This is just, this is just out of this world. Goodness! I mean, that is just amazing. There's also a tiny cave off to the side that would be perfect for bats or Pokemon. And we do have this boardwalk everywhere we go, which I was miffed at first, but now I'm thinking it's a totally good thing, you know? We wouldn't want to get our dainty little feet wet. That's true. And there are pitfalls everywhere. Not sure you can see this on camera, but just right over there, there's a huge pitfall. And then there's a pitfall here, so I could be totally against them in our regular nature hikes, but this time I think they're okay. Whoa, Chris, are you going, are you going off of the boardwalk? Is that allowed? You are out of your dang mind. Oil fact. This is what remains of the completely useless oil hole that they drilled. They started drilling in 1919 uh, because they had heard that there was oil here mm. from Native American legends and a guy and they drilled it for three years and they almost reached 5,000 feet before they realized, you know what? This was a bad idea and they plugged it up. If this is that infamous plug? This is that Infamous plug. The boardwalk is over there where we just were, but we noticed this sign and I was just so curious I had to come and read it. And we just wanted to point out this glaring spelling error right in the middle of the sign. That and the fact that the oil drilling operation was called Glen St. Mary's Nursery. I wish it was a really cool pun I could think of. You always wish there was a really cool yeah. pun you could think of. The issue is, uh, there is no such thing as a really cool pun. Like, I could compare a nursery to like a sludge pit, but that seems inappropriate, so I... <laughs> so I feel like I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I mean, we all know they're sludge pits. Alright, we're coming upon the lake, which we didn't know was here, but hey, it was a nice surprise. Sorry for all the other trails watching this right now but I totally called you out. Like, this is this is the best trail. Oh. Yeah. Like, if all the trails are getting together to go for prom, 
in one big dance committee, this would be the prom king. I'm not sure it would be the prom queen, but this is definitely the prom king. <laughs> yep. That is water. Look, it's an arbitrarily windy path for no reason through the woods. Chris, go! The ultimate game of tag. I'm not going to tag him. Just kidding, that's not how you play tag. Look at this fabulous man pose. Oh yeah. <laughs> Be bear aware, guys. All right, so we were on that trail. Now we're gonna get back on the fenced trail. And I'm gonna do it in one graceful fell swoop. Are you ready? Oh, I'm watching. Okay. I definitely won't be taking a picture of this. Oh, oh gosh, okay. All right. Nope. It's working. If I just do it. Nope. Okay. If I just do it gradually. Oh gosh. <sighs> Graceful. It's still beautiful too. So did I mention it's fall? Whoa. Actually, wait. Sorry. It's December first. Now that is a hole. Two holes. Two holes? I'm not going to elaborate on that. So it may alarm you to know that Chris was brutally attacked on this trail. Not by a bear, as we were hoping, but by this branch. All over my face and chest and neck. It was horrible. Poor Chris. When you first arrive at the Falling Water State Park, you come in at this picnic-y area, which is quite beautiful. Uh, you have, there's like a playground, little botanical garden that you can walk through. It's kind of dead when we got there, but I mean, you know, in the springtime. It was still covered <laughs> in bees, so there's that. Yeah, and it was cold outside. And you know, nothing here in Florida handles cold, even the slightest bit of cold all that well. It would be really pretty in the spring, honestly. It was some sort of memorial garden. There were butterflies. We identified them as American lady butterflies. <laughs> Oh, and there was stage two. I'm not sure why you have stages. Oh yeah, wait, for bands and music and stuff, for festivals. For things that use stages. And just the biggest pine cones, just the largest, most unreasonable pine cones. The trail goes right out from next to the botanical gardens slash stage area. And it's, we, got, we said this already, but it's just all concrete and boardwalk all the way through. There are little side paths that you can take and we took. Because we're rugged. Levi, <laughs> Levi jeans rugged. Yeah, think about that. Like, what's that? What's that one brand of jeans where, you know, it's that cartoon man, and it's like your underwear is built with a U or great. Oh, <laughs> what is it? I know that cartoon man. Okay, well you know what I'm talking about, right? It's like those clotheslines rugged. That's how rugged it is, or we are. We did see the waterfall and it was sort of trickly. Uh, the waterfall flow varies on what time of year you're going, what the most recent rainfall is. Um, but even though it was trickly, it was no less uh, magnificent of a waterfall. It is technically the tallest waterfall in Florida. Um, it does go into a pit, so that's kind of cheating like a little bit, but it's, it's beautiful. It's amazing. I think it's kind of clever. That way, you know, if any other waterfall kind of sneaks up in competition, they can just get just down in that dig pit. Deeper. <laughs> just make it We're just a little tallest. bit taller. <laughs> it's genius if I think about it, really. Now, if there's anything that this park has a monopoly on, though, it is holes. It is holes in the ground. There are holes everywhere. There were trails closed off because the holes were so holy. It was wholeheartedly amazing. Whole hog. In terms of cool critters, I would give this trail one big pine cone because that is pretty much the extent of wildlife that we saw. 
and other people's dogs. Oh yeah, that's true. There was a sign for gators, but there was no actual animal. I give it a theoretical gator out of 10. In terms of holes, I would say it was dangerously excellent in the fact that they prevented us from going on one of the trails. So in terms of holes, super. So many of them. Like freckles on my face. Overall hikeability, uh, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And the trail is completely accessible, seeing as the whole thing is boardwalk and or a cement path. Chris could not stop talking about how it was the most beautiful trail he'd ever seen the entire time we were there. Well, it's a beautiful trail. You know? Good yep. job, Major and man working together as one beautiful union. You're welcome, Chris. <laughs> That was both of them together. Sounds like a woman's voice when it's nature and man talking together, oddly. So one of the really cool things, I'm still very excited about this, um, was as we were walking, we found a picture post and it had a little informational thing saying that they are getting people who visit the trail to um, take photos in these certain configurations so that they have a record of how the foliage looked, how the sun looked, how everything was looking at that specific point in time, because they're gathering data on how the, the forest works and looks and grows around that area. And so you basically push your camera up against these angles and you take pictures at specific angles, then you go online, you upload them. And you can actually see these at picturepost.unh.edu. I don't know if you would find that interesting. I think it's amazing though. We're all like, everyone who goes to this trail is, is picture buddies. Picture buddies. We are kind of picture buddies. I would hope we're a little bit more than picture buddies. We're not. <laughs> don't get it twisted. <laughs> so if you like our stuff, then please like or subscribe our video. It's gonna be at the bottom. And uh, hope you liked it. If you want a closer look at any of the photos that we took during the trip, you can go to trailmixphotos.com and have a peek. All right, see you later. Bye.